Thinking of playing Iron Cross, man-to-man -man combat on the East Front, 1941-42. While a German infantryman might be trained in a number of jobs and weapons systems, the Russian soldier knew how to use only a few weapons. Disease, exposure, and malnutrition were more common among Russian troops. Divisions on quiet sectors were even put on short rations in order to provide a more ample diet for attacking units in other areas. There were also more women in Russian combat units, where they were used as communications, traffic control, and other non-combat tasks. In the first year of the war, there were even all-woman combat units, but aside from some fighter pilots, most women were withdrawn from combat jobs for the remainder of the war. Okay, so I, I not only has this Thinking of Playing series been, been a success for me, um, it has definitely um, also worked out. Uh, uh, to the best possible conclusion I could have expected. So, when I was first looking over this game, um, scanning over it, I was thinking this could be a really, really interesting game for me. Um, but then, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, I got to the combat system and I was really scratching my head, um, wondering how this was really going to play out. Um, but actually, uh, going through the combat routine, um, it was not as bad as it looks, um, and it does start, uh, it, it does start to feel, um, more natural. Um, okay. So, uh, first of all, the very interesting combat system. Um, I actually, and... I should say, with the help of a, a little bit of reading online, I think some other gamers uh, gave me the uh, gave me a workable um, mental um, perspective for the combat system. So while it while I was having a hard time just getting my mind around the idea that the less six-sided dice you're rolling in combat, the better. Or in other words, the more six-sided dice you're rolling, the worse it is for you. Um, which is kind of somewhat the opposite of a bucket of dice type system. Um, but now I see a way to look at this that, that, that does work. And basically, your six-sided dice represent the risk you're taking, the risk of not succeeding in whatever your attack is. So with one six-sided die, you have a low you have a low risk of failure. You keep adding dice, and you're increasing your risk. Again, risk of not of not succeeding, of not hitting the target, of not incapacitating the target, or, or what have you. So so that actually started to work out for me. Um, okay, one thing that's really obvious is that the purple markers are the markers that come with, okay, the purple markers are the markers that come with the game. So you have target hex, you have assault designations, obviously pinned and suppressed, you have improved positions, and, and you have wrecks. Those are the main ones that I can think of that you get. Um, well, there's this impact marker as well. So all these ones come with the, the game. I really needed all of these to really... Um, to easily keep track of what's happening. So I had to add extra um, ATS... You know, markers for, for moving, markers for firing, um, and especially it became clear, first of all, it became clear that I would need to mark, um, I would need to mark hexes that were observed, successfully observed. Then <laughs> it turned out that I actually need to track both observer and observed hexes. 
So that's when I added. So now I'm adding the, you know, this was the last addition. So, so, so if the markers, the letters are facing the player that is observing, so this hex, a unit in this hex, or it's actually this hex, um, with the marker there, B corresponds to the, the B over here. So this A unit in this hex successfully observed this hex. Because if either moves, that's broken. Um, so then I go across the board and I have a D here. So the, the Soviet successfully um, observed a D over here somewhere, wherever the D is. I can't remember where the D is. Where is the D? Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> right, so so this B observed this B, but this D observed this D. Um, and then A, A, so these Russians, right, so these Russians observed these Germans, um, but these Germans observed these Russians, and these Germans, yeah, these Germans observed these Russians. So, <laughs> had to keep all that straight. Um, yeah, so a lot of extra markers that needed to play uh, confidently. Um, up and down combat state, pretty much a must, although I still question the firepower going down um yeah um what else i like i like the rate i mean units were blown away uh, so a machine gun where's the machine gun here it is so the machine gun firing at soldiers here they are firing at um soldiers in the up combat state in the open were blown away um, devastating attack but that uh, that was uh, within what I would expect otherwise the pins and the suppressions um, all uh, in line with what I would expect actually I didn't didn't really see any outrageous um, combat outcomes um, so that so that's really nice um, uh, I like the idea uh, I mean you have a few leaders by position um, so these are not uh, so these are leaders in real positions not uh, not leaders in effect like some other games do but you pretty much need and, and, and I like also the you know the acting leader the soldier like this one with the prof uh, proficiency rating of nine or greater acting like a leader um, that's nice and that and that does in effect I I see it as you know helping guide the player to organize teams with your better soldiers in leading them while not specifically uh, leaders in game terms um, yep yeah, you know I'm, I'm gonna say this um, the game so the game includes uh, where are they so the game includes you know combat vehicles tanks um, but uh, I really like what I saw and what I yeah I really like the infantry fighting here there is definitely um, as far as I can see so far a full, fun, interesting um, infantry uh, combat model here. Um, the uh, the rules um, again they they're just they could be they could be edited more uh, in the sense of uh, there are some kind of there are some holes. Um, 
the holes I just I noticed were not major but there, there are some holes that could be closed with more editing um, some things could be rearranged with some more editing um, but especially there are rules in here that are hidden um, and, and that is basically what I find is that the entire you know however many pages of rules specific rules um, uh, it's and basically they're all needed you know opportunity fire ranges are I mean they're, I mean they're not buried because they are um, they're not buried because they're set off with the arrow um, symbol and yet at the same time they are also hit uh, opportunity fire ranges again are hidden um, not too bad to pick up after a few going through a few times um, yeah just a lot of now I do wonder uh, when I get to a see it played series I definitely have to see about ammo depletion about how kind of real this ammo depletion is because I was looking over just doing some quick calculations off the top of my head and I was wondering whether these ammo limits are really gonna I don't know come into play significantly um, observation just just great um, you gotta have you just have to have an observation um, mechanic yeah for the scale and scope um, and and this one works there are a lot of uh, yeah there are a lot of uh, uh, modifiers um, for the most part they all make sense um, there is that three that, that is there is that previous three phases um, which I never really got a strong um, idea about how to handle that but after going through and having to figure out the, la the previous three phases um, it, it did start getting a little little e a little easier um, so here's an example of a buried a buried rule I mean they're really throughout machine guns using fire lanes and spray fire uh, never have their AP firepower have because of unobserved target hexes um, buried um, yeah just I mean especially for a magazine game especially for being so rough in rough in all different ways um, just a lot of fun and interesting I mean just a real success for yeah for thinking of playing series and and I do intend and look forward to an actual see it played series um, to, to get into this into more in, in even more um, detail <laughs>